Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It's that time of the week again where we count down the 10 hottest magic cards of the week. Quickly, before we get into our top 10, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order an assortment of Strixhaven products there. They also have the upcoming Challenger decks and a whole lot of other things on the website. Remember, if your order is over $100 or it consists only of singles, Shipping will be free in the United States, and whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated, so thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Zephyr. This is going up $3.53 this week to $9 for a 65% increase. This is a good time to remind you as to how we come to our top 10 every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria. The first is an increase in percentage value, and the second is an increase in true sales out there. Now, when it comes to this card in particular, this does see a tab at a commander play, but moving mostly because of its status on the reserve list right now. There is still some reserve list activity, buyouts and such, but not as much as we have been seeing, nowhere near. Number nine is Essence Liver, the Legion's copy up 370 to $9, that is a 70% increase. The Time Spiral copy up 464 to 1025, that is an 83% increase. Slivers continue to be hot. First Keldheim came along, gave them a little support in the form of Shapeshifters with Changeling. Now we have Time Spiral Remastered, which reprinted some key slivers, including Sliver Legion. Unfortunately, the savings now that you get from the cheaper Sliver Legions don't necessarily offset the cost of some of these other slivers since they have been spiking. When it comes to a lot of these sliver spikes, they start off natural as people think they want to build a sliver deck now that they can get Sliver Legion cheaper. But as prices start to increase, fear of missing out kicks in, and also some people begin to speculate on the cards, which makes them go up even quicker. Commander Sliver decks are always going to be popular, and a card like this is very good in those builds. Number 8, exact same story here. This is Root Sliver. It goes up 581 to 9.95 for a 140% increase. Number 7 is Fairy Artisans. This goes up 632 to 15.75 for a 67% increase. This already sees a lot of commander play in builds like Brutaclad Telcor Engineer. It was in an Arden Intrepid Archaeologist Thrashios Triton Hero Commander build on the Command Zone podcast this week. I think that's why it's moving this much right now. But also remember, we did get some Commander 2021 previews already, and one of those decks is built around a commander named Adrix and Nev Twin Casters. And there are some players already thinking about possible upgrades to the deck, or maybe they just want to build around this card from scratch and they are beginning to pick up cards that will work well with it, although we don't know what cards are going to be reprinted yet in that deck. Number six is Toshira Umazawa, up 741 to 1999 for a 59% increase. This is already a fairly popular commander, could become a more popular commander in the future based off what we're seeing in some of these strike saving previews. Feels like a lot of the cards that we're seeing would do well in a Spellslinger style commander deck. We've seen a number of cards with Magecraft. Here's just one example, Professor Onyx, Obviously, Professor Onyx plays really well with Chain of Smog. Now, these type of combos aren't revolutionary. For example, Chain of Smog and Raw Storm Conduit, that's already a combo. But what's different about this is Professor Onyx can be played in a mono-black commander build that could be Toshira, could be something else. And of course, if you're trying to put together a combo, black has the best tutors. So put it all together, and there's actually a number of cards that have been climbing since the previews have started due to Magecraft. Number five is Mox Tantalite. This goes up 1086 to 1689. That is a 180% increase. Now, this has seen some increased commander play recently in Ranar the Ever Watchful, Vega the Watcher builds. This also does show up in Sliver decks from time to time. That could be part of the reason it's moving as well. Additionally, Magecraft from Strixhaven and Commander 2021 has a Storm feel to it. And Wizards did say there is going to be a new Storm card in one of the Commander 2021 decks. Suspend cards have always played well with Storm. This one also gives you mana when it enters the battlefield. But I think the biggest reason it's moving this week out of all of them is Bad Boy MTG did a video this week about this card, in particular how it's going to get better because of another preview, and that is Oskir the Reconstructor. Again, cheap mana rocks in this card could play very well together, but we also don't know what's going to be reprinted in that deck too. Number four is another card that could be moving at least in part to Osgir the Reconstructor. 
although maybe more in a speculative way. This is Meraxis of Keld. It goes up 2021 to 2847. That's a 245% increase. Currently, it does see a little commander play, but this feels like a reserve list buyout more than anything. Again, probably because people are looking at Oscar the Reconstructor. Now, when it comes to true sales, though, for this card, I have not seen any copies break $8 yet, but they are actively being purchased, and it is getting harder and harder to find a reasonably priced copy of this. Number three is another sliver. Of course, this is one that could be your commander if you chose to make it such in a sliver commander deck. The Scourge copy of Sliver Overlord goes up $32.02 to $78. That is a 70% increase. The copy from Premium Deck Series Slivers that only comes in foil, it goes up $43.03 to $93.74 for an 85% increase. Now again, actual sales don't seem to be hitting this price point quite yet. The Premium Deck Series ones usually go between $35 and $50. The Legion's copies can sell for about $50 in high grade. So they are definitely creeping up, and again, it is getting hard to find copies at a reasonable price out there. Number two is Deserted Temple. This is going up $56.90 to $125 for an 84% increase. In reality, though, high-grade copies are selling for around $65 now, but they are climbing quickly, and again, it could be due to a potential buyout. This is a great commander card used many times to untap a land that can provide a lot of mana, something like a Cabal Coffers, for example. This has seen increased play recently in Turgrid God of Fright slash Turgrid's Lantern builds, which have been popular. And number one is Null Rod, going up 244.39 to 381.10 for a 179% increase. Again, I'm not seeing true sales quite hit that price point, but they are starting to go up quite a bit. I have seen them breaking about $200 recently for high grade copies. That is a lot higher than they were, and you could argue this card has been undervalued for a while. Now, there probably is a buyout to some degree behind this. When it comes to gameplay, though, this can see Legacy play in Delver builds and more there. Those Delver builds seem to be doing well in this new Legacy meta that came out of the last Band and Restricted list update in February. Also, this is found many times in Vintage Golo stacks and can be found in some Commander builds, too. All right, that's going to do it for this week's Top 10. Don't forget to join us for the big episode of the Market Watch this weekend. There, we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. But until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.